And welcome back YouTube, this is Booster Baxbuster here with another figure review. Today I have uh, some something a little bit different. It's actually a character that you don't see too often, and that's uh, uh, Bakirin. I think that's how you say the name, I'm not 100% sure, and it's uh, Bakirin Hijiri. Uh, it's spelled with a Z here, but it's supposed to, it's pronounced with a J. Or it could be a Hijiri, but the, from what I see on English sites, it, the, everybody spells it Hijiri, so Bakirin Hijiri. Uh, I picked this up on Yahoo Action Japan the same time I picked up uh, Alice, and uh, it actually was going for a pretty decent price, so I figured I'd pick it up. Uh, I, and I was looking up some reviews, and there's a lot of unfavorable reviews. A lot of people weren't too happy with this character, or this uh, figure, the way it turned out. Uh, but I didn't see too many things wrong in the photos and stuff, so I, I, I thought it would be a good pickup. Uh, let's take a look at the character here quick. Looks like it has a nice uh, scroll uh, accessory. I think that's the only accessory it comes with. And the only other issue on the box here is that when I received it, this uh, front piece was completely just uh, taken off, uh, taken apart. Uh, I don't know if it got dislodged during shipping or if, you know, being a used product, if it was that way, you know, when, when they sold it. But I'm not complaining too much. As long as the figure itself... And all it, the contents are okay. Uh, this piece is very easily, you know, I can very easily glue it back into place and everything. Alright. Uh, I think I will open up the figure now. Alright, here... Now that I've got the figure out of the box, let's do a proper review. As always, let's start with the base. It's the same, uh nice opaque black base as from the Alice figure and it has the same thing on the nameplate her name Bakirin Hijiri both in Japanese and English and it has nice uh, rose petals to represent the character this time I will say this uh, I like the paint job on the boots that looks really nice uh, her uniform also looks really nice. I like the dress, and I really like the uh, cross straps that connect to her coat and cape in the back. Really nice. This figure do is leaning a little bit to the uh, left, unfortunately, but uh, not much I can do about that. I will say this. The scroll... Uh, attaching the scroll was kind of a pain, and just to show you comparison, uh, the scroll that you get with the character is actually much larger than the one represented in the uh, on the box. Uh, as you can see, it goes all the way down, like basically like down to the bottom of the base. But in the uh, box art here. Here, I'll move everything out of the way. In the box art, you can clearly see that it only goes to her uh, about knee high, which uh, would have a much better effect, because this one lo just looks at, like she has an oversized scroll, unfortunately. And I also will say this. Uh, I really like the colors on the uh, on the cape, and you know I really like the cross hatching, the cross, you know, on the uh, on the cape. It, it it just looks really nice, really well done for the character. And the face, if you can see it, I'm gonna go. Let's see. It's actually not terrible. Once again, it, it has the same issue as the other one, as Alice, where it's kind of looking down. Which, you know, I'd like it if it was tilted a little bit higher, you know, a little bit more up, but... Uh, I'm okay with it, and, and the face itself is actually painted pretty decently. As you can see, this one does, you know, does tend to move a little bit more than Alice does. 
Now the only issue, the real issue besides the potential leading that I have with this character is the hair. As you can see, clearly see, you know, uh, very spotty paint job on the hair up here. Just very, very kind of icky. It, it, it looks like uh, highlights gone bad. Just, just a very poor paint job right up here, which, you know, I, I guess I could touch up, but I, you know, when you pay that kind of money for it, you expect it to be done professionally. But I guess that maybe that's why I got it on sale, I don't know. Um, but like I said, the high, the highlights of the character, you know, the, and the hair itself just doesn't seem natural flowing. It, it seems a little, uh, almost like Medusa, Medusa hair type, you know, going from the, uh, waves there. Uh, let's see. Overall, I do not like this one as much as I liked the Alice character. Uh, just because there's there's more issues with this character over you know with this uh, figure overall than the uh, Alice one, and and I don't know what it is about Griffin Enterprise and their Toho line, but they always they just have a hard time uh, making or with the hair. They the hair always the hair on the face always seems to be the issue with the Griffin Enterprise figures, which no uh, no you know. You know, you, you you take what you get, I guess, and because they for a long time had a exclusive rights to the uh, Toho line, which thankfully a lot of other companies can do it now. But you know, if you wanted Toho product, that was really the only people that you could get it from. <laughs> but uh, you know, but overall, I'd say that this is not a bad figure. It's just uh, I'm happy I didn't have to pay retail for it. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I got it for around forty-five dollars, which you know, for a figure, I think it normally costs like a sixty-five dollars when it came out, so not a bad price. Uh, I, I like it. I do want to reiterate that the scroll was kind of a pain to get on, and once again, it does not match. You know, it's it's longer than what it than what I was expecting. As, but I do think that it would make a nice addition to my collection. You know, I'm going to keep it, obviously, so... I'm not going to trade it or anything. And I do like her, uh, double coat there. That I, th I think that looks pretty cool, coat, cape. Just wish my... Like I said, my biggest gripe with this is the, un is the unfinished hair and the hair quality itself. Just looking a little, uh, Medusa-like. Uh, let's see. Uh, I would probably give this one a uh, six, maybe uh, six and a half out of ten, which is pretty low on my scale. You know, that's you know usually usually when it comes to figures, I I do you know a better job than this, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I stand by that. Six, six and a half out of ten. I would say pick it up if you can find it at a good price. To if you're if you're looking to complete your uh, collection of characters, you know. But if it's if it's if it's more than what I paid for it, I'd say pass. All right, this has been Booster Box Buster doing a review of uh, Toho One Eighth character line of Bakirin Hajiri. Done by Griffin Enterprises. Signing out.